What's up everybody, I'm Jacob Cabazuto with Cab Training, and today I'm gonna to show you guys five cone drills to improve your offensive performance in football. But before we get started, if you guys wanna get better at football or better as an athlete in general, hit that subscribe button, because that's what all my videos are about, and let's get better today. When you boil it all the way down, the point of offense in football is to create separation and be deceptive so you guys can score touchdowns. The point of every single drill in this video is going to be to create separation and be deceptive. So stick around from drill one through five in this video because there's gonna be a lot of value for you guys to become better football players. Let's get into drill number one. Drill number one is a 45 degree cut. So for you geometry nerds out there, or actually, mind you, for you guys who do not know geometry that well, a 45 degree angle is basically just a diagonal cut. And so with this one, we're really working on planting with one step, 45 degrees, and accelerating out of that cut. This is great if you're a receiver looking to improve your post routes. This is good if you're a running back looking to improve that one cut and burst up the field. Really with this drill, I really wanna see a, if an efficiency with the way you step on the ground. All right, some people when they make 45 degree cuts, they do two steps. I like to call it a double tap. You wanna just do one step and a quick shift of the hips and the shoulders to the next direction. If your hips are late, you're not gonna be as quick and you're not gonna be as deceptive when you're making this style of cut. So do this cut on both sides four to five times when you're working on these drills and do it with varying speeds. If you don't get it, do it slower. And that's gonna be a very good key with every single one of these drills to do it at varying speeds so you guys can get better at it. Drill number two is another drill that's gonna help you guys create separation and juke people out, and it's called a running jump cut. Think of a jump cut as just a single shuffle. All right, so when you start out, you're gonna start out sprinting, and then you're gonna make sure that you decelerate efficiently, and then do a single shuffle to the opposite cone that is in this alignment of cones that I have set up on this video. Again, we're trying to stay square, we're trying to push off the ground and create separation from where we started and then versus where we restart after the jump cut. Do this drill a couple times each direction and you guys will improve your shiftiness. Drill number three is for my receivers and running backs out there that run out routes or in routes. This is a 90 degree cut. 90 degree cuts are so, so, so important because we wanna sell that we're going a little bit deeper than we are, and we're trying to plant flatly to a certain location so we can get the, to the right spot to receive the football. All right, if we can't make a flat cut and accelerate flatly, we cannot provide the spacing that a quarterback needs to be able to read the field correctly. So let's make sure on this drill that we are able to run in straight, straight lines and under control. So speed during this drill is very important. Sometimes you guys need to go 25% or 50% in order to do this drill right. And then when you guys become masters of this drill, you should be able to do it 75 to 100%. Before we move on to drill number four, if you guys like this video so far, hit that thumbs up button. And if you guys don't wanna miss any more of my weekly content, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you guys don't miss anything else. Let's get better today. I had a hard time figuring out a name for this drill, but drill number four, I'm gonna call cone rounding. And so we're gonna set up six cones in a rectangular shape. And all we're really doing is we're going from cone to cone, rounding it, making sure our hips move fluidly around each cone. This is great if you are a receiver that runs curls and comebacks often. This is also great for you guys to be able to start and stop really quickly because as I always say, football is a start and stop type of game. If you can start well and stop well, you guys will be very, very effective on the field. Again, we wanna move fluidly around the cones, turning our hips and shoulders in a really uniform way when we round these cones and make sure that you guys get a low center of gravity while you're rounding these cones. Do this a couple different times each direction so you guys can get the benefit from it. So with drill number five, we're kind of putting it all together. We're gonna to combine three of the drills to allow you guys to master all three skills in rapid succession. So here we're going to be doing a jump cut to a speed cut to a figure eight. And so all we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the cones accordingly as I have them in this video. And we're gonna start out with a running jump cut. Then we're gonna move on to a speed cut, which is just that 45 degree diagonal cut, which was drill number one. And then we finish off with a figure eight style cone round with a good low center of gravity. Now, if you have a partner or a coach that's gonna help you out with this drill, have them throw you a football here to add a little bit of more of the route running catching aspect to it. 
but this drill is kind of like a backyard drill that I made up on the top of my head that helps us out with three of the skills that we learned in this video today. So try this drill out a couple different times and then experiment. Utilize all five of these drills in some type of way in the backyard in the green belt to help you guys out with your skills. And with that, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. If you guys really liked this video and you guys are gonna use these in the green belt at the park, in your backyard, hit that like button and subscribe to Cab Training. If you guys want anything else, hit me up down in the comment section below. I'm always open to suggestions for new videos that I can post and help you guys out. If you guys wanna get helped out more, follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and wherever else you can find me because I, I post daily on those different platforms. But thank you guys so much again for watching this video. I hope it brought you value and let's get better today.